Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Liz of Chicago Law Luxury Makeup. Today's Sunday morning get ready with me. We are going to be using my new Shantikai products that I picked up. So if you're curious to see what products I picked up, what I used to create this look, keep watching. All right, so we're gonna get started and we're gonna start with skincare again. You guys, I love Shantikai skincare, so I thought this was a perfect opportunity to kind of show you some of the products that I've been loving. We're gonna start with my serum. This is the Shantikai Vital Essence Serum. So I just pump a little bit out onto my hand and I just apply it. I really have been loving this serum. It feels so soothing on the skin. And then as always, anything that I have left over, I wipe on the back of my hands. Your hands show aging so quickly so I'm constantly trying to combat it. All right, we're gonna put my hair back because that was bothering me. I'm gonna go with my eye serum and this is the Nano Gold Energizing Eye Serum. I store it upside down and then what I do is I just kind of take it into a V. So the outer corners is really my focus. And so I just really concentrate on that area so I'm going to do that for both eyes. And just rub it in. I'm going to take my eye cream. This is the Stress Repair Concentrate Plus. I love this eye cream. I just opened it. So as you can see, it's pretty new. I just take a little bit out and that's probably way too much. And then we're just going to kind of tap that around my eyes. This really is a phenomenal eye cream, and you can really use it anywhere. It's not a specific eye cream, but that is where I primarily use it. And then again, because I did get too much, I'm just gonna <laughs> rub it on the back of my hands. And now for face cream. I'm gonna use the Rose de May face cream. I'm just gonna take a little bit out, rub it on my hands, and then apply it. This it smells amazing. It's got that rose de may smell. So if you like the um, rose water or the rose cleansing balm, that's what this smells like. And I'm loving it. All right, so while I let that skincare kind of set into my skin, let's go ahead and unbox the new goodies that I picked up. So I went and saw my friend Lisa Shantikai, but at the Neiman Marcus location, in Northbrook here in Chicago. And this is everything that I picked up. I'm loving the box that I came in. We're gonna start with the most important thing. And this is the new giraffe collection. This is the iQuad. I am so excited for this, you guys. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting. The packaging is stunning. I love the giraffe. And then you open it up and you've got these four cool tone neutral shades that I absolutely love. These are 100% my shades. So that's what we're gonna be using on my face today. I can't wait to play with it. I also picked up one of the new lipsticks. This is the Lip Chic in a shade Freshia, Freshia. Again, you've got the rose gold packaging with the giraffe on it. And then there's the lipstick. Like I can't even wait. I have to swatch it. Love it. Love it. Perfect. Perfect Liz shade. I went ahead and picked up some goodies that I've had my eye on for a while and I just never got. Some of them we're going to use today. Others I will save for a future video because I just can't possibly use them all in one video. Um, I got the Radiance Gel Bronzer. This is a cream bronzer. This goes in and out of stock. I am so excited to try it. It does come with a little cap on it. And there's what it looks like. You can definitely sheer it out though. So I think that'll be a really pretty bronzer. On the cheeks, you're not gonna need a lot of it. I went ahead and picked up the new eye base. This came out, I wanna say, around Christmas time and I didn't get it so 
So this is, I have, they come in shade medium and light, and I got shade medium. And I love an eye base. So there it is on my hand. You can see that it really is just slightly darker than the color of my skin. But I think once you blend it out, it's really gonna cover everything in my eye. I think it'll look really good underneath my eyeshadow. The last four items that I got are all of the mermaid eye colors. So I picked up four. And that's why I can't use them all today because I want to use the new giraffe quad. But I picked up shade Triton. Shade Sylvie. Seashell. And last, Starfish. I have two of these already and I love them. Love them. I just, I'm a huge fan. And then I got this cute, cute little Valentine's box, which I'm loving. And then they did have a free gift promotion going on. So I'm gonna show you what that was. Leave Lisa's information down below if you wanna reach out to her. I'm not sure how long the free gift is going on, but I will definitely leave her information down below if you wanna order anything. So here is the cute little bag that came, it comes in. I love the bag. I think it's a perfect size for brushes. Yes, I'm going to be carrying my brushes in this bag. I have three deluxe size samples. The first one is the Faux Seal Longest Lash Mascara. This is a great mascara, so I will gladly take that. A deluxe sample size of the Stress Repair Concentrate Plus, which is the eye cream that I just used, and a deluxe sample size of the Bio Lifting Cream, which I do also have a bigger size of this um, that I haven't opened yet, but I have used samples of this and I know it's really good. So that is what I got. And again, I'm loving, loving this bag. Look how, I mean, it's like perfect. The skincare has been, is set down. So now we're gonna go ahead and start applying some makeup. I'm gonna use for foundation, the Future Skin Cushion Foundation and I have shade Nude. You can tell that this has <laughs> been loved and this is my refill. So I'm gonna go ahead and I just tap my brush into the product and I will begin applying. For concealer, I'm gonna use the Le Camouflage Stilo. I have shade 4W. So I'm just going to pump a little bit out. I'm going to apply it under my eyes, around my nose, and then down on my chin. Anywhere I need a little bit extra. And then for this product, I actually like to use my fingers. By the time I go in to blend it, it's pretty much already sunk down into my skin. So it's very, very lightweight. It's very hydrating. We're gonna try this new um, eye base. So again, I have shade medium and I'm just gonna place it on the eye and then blend it with my finger. I like it a lot, and I think this is a great color. So I'm gonna scoot in so you can see that my right eye has the primer down, or the eye base. My left eye does not. So you can really see how it covers the discoloration. And this is really easy to use. Like, really easy. I like that it's in a stick formula. It just makes it really easy to apply. All right, so, so far, loving, loving this new eye base. All right, so before I do any powder, I wanna go ahead and put down this cream bronzer. So again, this is the Radiance Gel Bronzer, 
And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit out onto my hand, and then I'm gonna take a Sonia G Jumbo Base to apply it. So I just picked up, like I said, just a little bit with that brush. I put way too much out on my hand, by the way. So now we're just gonna blend. I think it's very, very pretty. It's very, very subtle. It literally just kind of gives my skin just a little bit of warmth. Just a little bit. I love it. It just kind of, I mean, I don't know a better word to describe it, but it just kind of warms up my cheeks. Now we're gonna go ahead and set my face. And to set my face, I have the Chantecai HD Perfecting Powder. And this is just a really nice translucent powder. So I'm gonna take my La Mer powder brush and just kind of pick up a little bit and then just go ahead and set this. I have two different bronzers. Um, I actually have both shades of the Chantecai Real Bronze. I have Goa, which is right here, which is a little bit deeper, and then I have Serena. So what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to go ahead and use Serena. It looks like it'll match the gel bronzer a little bit more. So I'm going to go in with my Sonia G Ninji Pro to apply this. For blush today, I'm going to use this shade right here. It is called Smitten, and this is one of the cheek shades. This one has the elephant on it. So I'm going to take a Chikohoto cheek brush. It's a very just soft, peachy shade. I think it's very subtle. I'm not going for a bright look today. So I think this was perfect. I do have a new highlighter and I'm embarrassed to say <laughs> that I've had this for a really long time and I've never used it. So this is the Liquid Lumineer and I have shade Sheen. So again, it comes in that same little tube like the bronzer does. They also have blushes in this same formula and I do have two of the blushes and I love them. So what I'm gonna do, same thing, is I'm just gonna take a little bit out. Let me swatch it for you. So there is Sheen. I'm just gonna take a little bit out onto the back of my hand. I'm gonna apply with my finger. And then the other side, we're going to do a brush. I want to see what the difference is. It dries down quickly so it doesn't leave a sticky, tacky film. I probably should have put down this before blush. But what I noticed so far is that it's very subtle. It's very natural. It does not highlight any sort of texture. I think it just looks very, very pretty. So I'm gonna take a Sony G Classic Base to apply the other side. I definitely see more payoff with the brush. However, I feel like it might show a little bit more texture than with my finger. So there's the side with the brush and there's the side with the finger. I'm loving it. I don't know why I waited so long. <laughs> it, those are really, really pretty. Um, if you have a more mature skin, these I think are gonna look really, really pretty. And I could probably have used it underneath the powder, which maybe I'll do next time. All right, so now let's get into the star of the show and this is the new giraffe eye quartet i'm going to swatch it for you and then we'll 
go ahead and create an eye look. So there are the four shades. The two browns definitely look similar. But we'll see how they apply. Oftentimes you can swatch stuff, but then once you apply it to the eye, they look different. I'm going to start with my Sonia G Classic Crease, and I'm going to start with the lightest of the brown shades. They are powdery. And I'm just going to take it into the crease. I think it's really beautiful. It's a very, very neutral, everyday brown. I'm going to go in with the Sony G Mini Booster and I'm going to go into that darker brown. It almost reminds me of like a coffee color. And I'm just going to kind of place that in the outer corner. the darker shade in the outer corner and it just kind of transitions or fades right into that lighter brown. I'm going with a Sonia G Builder and I'm going to go into the darker of the shimmers. So this is kind of like a rose gold. It looks to be like there could be some fallout. I'm going to place this on the lower lid. is definitely glittery. I don't know that I would feel comfortable wearing that to work. Um, definitely date night. So I'm just taking that all along the lower half of my eye up to the crease. I'm going to take a fluffy blending brush. This is the BK Beauty 201. I'm going to tap my it into the light tan shade just a little bit and I'm going to go in just to the crease and blend. I don't want there to be any harsh lines where that glitter meets the mattes. I'm going to go back into the mini with my Sony G mini booster to that darker brown and again go to the outer corner. I'm going to take my BK Beauty 207. I'm going to go into the white. I'm going to see what happens when I put that in my inner corner. Really not much. So I'm gonna put it on the other side just to be consistent. Honestly, I didn't do much. I'm gonna take a Sony G pencil one. I'm gonna to go to the dark brown and mix it with the lighter of the browns. So the two mattes. And I'm gonna take that under the eye. my eyes with the eye cajole pencil in black and for mascara I'm gonna go ahead and use the faux seal longest lash so I'm gonna put those on off camera and then we'll be back to finish up the look with the new lid the eye look is complete what do you guys think I love it I really really love it and I think the longer it kind of sits the the shimmers and the glitters kind of go away. I do think it would be an acceptable eye look to wear to work. <laughs> um, you know, I think it, once you add the mascara, the eyeliner, it just kind of all works together. And I do think that you could wear this every day. I'm really, really loving it. But now I'm excited to go ahead and play with this new Lip Chic. I mean, this is such a pretty color. I absolutely love the packaging. I just love it. I'm going to go ahead and line my lips. I am going to use the 
Chantecaille Lip Definer in shade Discreet. This is my favorite shade of all the lip definers that I have. I just love it. It's like a perfect pinky nude. And now for the Lanou Lip Cheek. Oh, it's perfect. All right, so there we are. That is the completed look using the new Chantecaille products that I picked up. I'm loving it. You guys, I mean, as soon as I saw this quad released, I was like, I have to have it. Those are my shades. So I am really, really loving it. I would love to hear from you guys if you guys have picked it up. Were you waiting? Do you love it? I'm loving it. And I love the new Lip Cheek. These are my favorite formula. They are so hydrating and they feel so good on the lips. They're not gonna last all day. That's okay. I don't need it to. I don't need it to. I'm, I just love it. And let me know also what you guys think. Have you guys tried these highlighters, bronzers, or the blushes that come in these? Um, I'm really, really loving it, especially that highlighter. It is really good for mature skin. Really, really good. I'm telling you guys, it's good. All right, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching today's Sunday morning Get Ready With Me. I really appreciate it. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.